is dominant wrestling. And two minutes and 39 seconds into his match, didn't even reach the second period. And Max Huntley extends this Michigan lead now to 21-14. Unless something completely unforeseen happens in this heavyweight, Michigan, Max Huntley put them in a great position to come out of this duel on top. And the only thing unforeseen that can happen is them changing the rules. There is no Six way point, looking yeah. at the score. It is 21 of 14. Not here to question your math, Derek, but they need seven points to even tie this duel and meet. The Michigan Wolverines cinched the victory with that one with that win rather from Max Huntley. Dominant performance from and, that wrestler. And it looked like the Cliff Keen crowd was a lot better at quick math than I was. They all understood that that pin put them in that position to get this victory. And now they can all just sit back and watch the greatness of Adam Kuhn. But you know what? I was a little excited to see how Kuhn would come into this match knowing that he needed some big points. We haven't seen that out of Adam Kuhn a lot. The last couple of times that he's been on the mat, it really hasn't been in, in, big, situa in big situations where he's needed points. He only has two pins and he has one tech fall in the seven matches. Only two pins and one tech fall. What do you want from the guy, Derek? Two pins and one tech fall in seven matches. That's almost a 50% bonus point success rate. If you want bonus points, you count on Adam Kuna heavyweight on this Michigan Wolverines bench. He's a guy you can rely on, and that's what I was excited to see in this dual meet, to see if we could rely on Adam Kuna, or rather if we needed to rely on him as he shoots in on a deep shot, quick on his feet. I have to be honest though, I don't think this seven point lead is gonna stop Adam Kuhn from dominating and taking over against Brooks Black. Complacency is not a word that Adam Kuhn understands. He will never be complacent, regardless of whether or not he's on the mat or in the classroom. A tough, tough worker on the mat, in the class, is an engineering student here at the University of Michigan. Phenomenal student athlete in that order. That's another important thing to to recognize here. Phenomenal performances from all of these wrestlers today. And Adam Kuhn, the coaching staff and himself have made the decision not to wrestle him in tournaments so far this season. Only has wrestled in dual meets, 7-0 on the year. And Max Hundley, 7-0 coming into the night in duels. He just picked up his eighth win in duels. So Max Hundley, Adam Kuhn, both guys are undefeated in dual meets along with Dominic Abonator who's extended his record to 7-0. So the three guys, the three captains, and the three heaviest weight classes that when these meets come down and need big points, these are the three guys that have stepped up. Yeah, step up they do. 174 pounds as well. Devontae Mahomes stepped up big in this dual meet. Like I said, and I'm gonna reiterate again, once you wrestle these Michigan Wolverines, you need to understand that you have to get points early because when you get down to 184 pounds, it does not get any easier from there. You are facing the three captains. And as I say that, side by side, we have the heavyweight clash between Adam Kuhn, the undefeated 7-0 number four ranked wrestler going up against Brooks Black, the 12-4 wrestler, with two major decisions of his two own major this season. He's a guy who's, who's gotten some big wins for this Illini team. Just a second ago, you were telling me that two pins and a tech fall isn't enough, and now you're saying big wins because of two major decisions. You're all over the board here, Derek. I'm expecting a lot out of Adam Kuhn. What can I say? High expectations, and that's something we saw early on for Adam Kuhn as he picks Pulls in the cradle here, was able to break his hands. A four, a four point near fall for Adam Kuhn. As I was saying, high expectations. During his true freshman season just two years ago, he was the number one ranked wrestler in the country. Goes through the cradle again, was early. Black is able to get the one point escape. As I was mentioning, started off that season 21 and 0 as a true freshman. Talk about expectations. This wrestler has had a lot of weight on his shoulders. A lot of weight indeed. Adam Kuhn, he didn't wrestle at the Southern Scuffle at the end of December with this Michigan team. Instead, 
He wrestled at the U.S. Senior Nationals in capturing the 286-pound Greco-Roman wrestling gold medal at the U.S. Senior Nationals. So even when he's not wrestling for Michigan, he's been absolutely dominant. Easy. Oh dear, those wrestlers need to take control. The backup referee needs to be there to make sure they don't fly off the mat. Good thing nothing happened there. And that's not something you expect from a Greco-Roman wrestling champion in Adam Kuhn. Shot a deep double leg takedown. You usually see him, see him wrestling upper body with yeah. the Greco-Roman rules. The Greco-Roman styles definitely come out in Adam Kuhn. So strong, especially in that upper body, that that's where he likes to wrestle. Surprised to see him going lower body there. And that's the second stalling call against Brooks Black. One point in favor of Adam Kuhn because of that. He leaves the match 6-1 now with 10 seconds left in the second period. 48 seconds of riding time for the Michigan junior. And as this second period comes to a close, Kuhn leads Black 6-1, to 48 seconds of riding time. So if Kuhn can get another takedown and get 12 more seconds of riding time, then that will be a major decision and really extend his bonus points that he's had this year. And Adam Kuhn gets the one-point escape quickly back up to his feet. He only has 41 seconds of riding time so far this match with a minute and 45 seconds left on the clock. Let's see if he can improve the score. A two-point takedown will get him a major decision here. And Adam Kuhn is a guy, he's hungry. He's not just content with getting a victory on normal points. He's a guy that goes after the bonus points. Again, another stalling call against Brooks Black. You like to see that. These wrestlers always making wrestling a little more exciting. An interesting arm spin from Brooks Black goes for broke at the edge of the mat. Wasn't able to get anything of it. Two point takedown there for Adam Kuhn. 10 to one, he leads. And knowing Adam Kuhn, he's still gonna look for that pin here. There he goes, grabs the back leg. Just under a minute left. And now he is over one minute of riding time, so 10 to one the score reads, but effectively 11 to one with the minute and three seconds that he currently has of riding time if he can keep that above one minute. Illinois, co Illinois coaching staff imploring Brooks Black to get his head up. He looks exhausted. I mean, take a look at his physique, Derek. Could you imagine a man the size of Adam Kuna on top of you for a minute and 30 seconds of riding time? I'm just scared thinking about it. It's a terrifying thought. Granted, I'm a modest 125 pounds myself. Nothing in comparison to the size of these heavyweights on either side. But Adam Kuhn's something else. Adam Five Kuhn seconds with left. three seconds left. Three. And he will win this one 11 to two with the riding time advantage. And Michigan, with that major decision, will win this one 29 to 14.